conectados conosco pelo Zoom e YouTube. We greet you with the peace and love, Jesus. I invite you to stand up. Act of Acts. Acts chapter 8. Acts chapter 8, verse 26. Act chapter 8, verse 26. It's projected over there. The word says, Now an angel of the Lord spoke to Philip, saying, Arise and go toward the south along the road which goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. This is the this is desert. So he arose and went. And behold a man of Ethiopia and eunuch of great authority under Candace, the queen of the Ethiopians, who had changed of all her treasure and had come to Jerusalem to worship, was returning. And sitting in his chariot, he was reading Isaiah, the prophet. Then the spirit said to Philip, go near and overtake the chariot. So Philip ran to him and heard him reading the prophet Isaiah and said, do you understand what you're reading? And he said, just the last piece, do you understand what you read? Dear Lord, here's your life word. Please bless us through your word, giving us the blessing, the revelation of your word. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Please be seated. Brother, the text we see. It's a period that we called the beginning of the primitive church, where the servants of the Lord followed, following the orientations, the teachings of, the, of Jesus, started to announce the good news to all. The text that we see And the interesting is, Philip had a, a great intimacy with the Lord, that the Lord sent angels to talk to him, and the Spirit of the Lord also talked to him. Philip reached such an intimacy with the Lord that now he became responsible to give the good news to all, to all that needed a word of hope, love, and salvation. You see now that uh, that man, Eunuch, worked work for the Queen Candace in the YouTube, Ethiop, took care of all the treasure, to, took care of all the treasure of the, of the Queen. But interesting that the word of the Lord says that he was on a road, on a desert road. On the verse, the first verse, verse 26. He left Jerusalem to Gaza, and that road was a desert. What is a desert? No life, no hope, no direction, no love, no, no knowledge, desert, everything desert. We can say, even say that, even even that man going to Jerusalem to pray, when he returned from Jerusalem, he became he was he became, he came back empty, thirsty of a living God. Because when he when he goes into his car, 
he started to read the prophet, the prophet Isaiah. He started to read prophet Isaiah. And the text that he read is the text exactly the text that spoke about what was happening in that period. Some days before Jesus was was dead. So Philip he had the same intimacy with the Lord the same the same intimacy that the servant of the Lord and this work have. Do you know that you all you all you all also have the same intimacy with the Lord? You can hear the voice of the Lord continuously. You can hear continually the, the voice of the Lord. You see that the Philip was moved by the Spirit of the Lord, ordered by the Lord to bring a word of hope. To bring a word of hope. And we, oriented by the same Spirit of the Lord, we, we, are, we are doing the, the entire month praying for our co-workers because they need a word of hope. Brethren understood that the intimacy with uh, uh, Philip, with the Lord, and like the Lord oriented and conducted to take the word to that man, the Lord has conducted us in our place of work. The Lord has conducted us in the, in the need in the need of that particular friend, co-worker. The difficulty, some trials at work, a door of open, a family. In our case, our family is far away, but all of us, we have our, our difficulties, but the Lord uses our life to give us word of hope and, and on top of that difficulty, on that need and that necessity. So, brethren, my sisters, we don't need to hear another voice. There's no other voice to hear. There's no man that will supply in a better way besides our Lord. The Lord showed through a gift about, about to hear what doesn't come from the Lord. What's the understanding of a human being? Because the Lord gives the man hope. The word of God says, as as we talk about the spiritual life, the best thing is to hear the voice of the Lord other than any voice of the man. And the internet, there's many prayers, many preachers, but the work of the Holy Spirit there's only one that directed our lives in all the moments. Bless be the name of the Lord. Oh. The best edification is, is the one that the Lord directly brings to each one of us using the sacerdote, the universal sacerdote of, of the servant. Universal priestlyhood. Priestlyhood? The universal priestlyhood, where you can plead the, for the Lord, like Abraham, plead for the life of, and the Lord answers right away, because our access is direct to the Father through Jesus. Access, the access of Philip was direct to the Lord through the, through Jesus, because he was the one that, that opened the doors. He opened the veil all the way up to speak with the Lord. Okay. Veil. From top to bottom. And didn't work for anybody. For another. He worked for a queen. And he took care of his, her treasure. But the word of Philip for that man 
it was like I can say it was to leave serving a queen to serve now a genius he was he was he was leaving his work which was taking care of the treasure of the queen to take care of the values the celestial values because he was starting to serve the king a living God faithful and true blessed be the name of the Lord the change is beautiful and the, and the Lord operates in our lives he takes away that was good for us and he gives us something else ten times better a ten times a blessing ten times better to take care of the, the, the work of the Holy Spirit the, the things of the Lord bring us And Philip, the Lord, the voice of the Lord for us today is to talk about the Lord, announce the gospel, talk about love of the Lord, His power of transformation, to change is to transform water in wine, but but that. But my friend, he doesn't believe it. But only God can do it because he can do it all. Because he can do it all. Come. Our work is that. To get next to. Because there the Holy Spirit, Spirit of the Lord, will put words of wisdom in our lips to bring lives for himself. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And Philip heard and ran. And he ran right away. And arriving there, he, he, so he heard and he read the prophet Isaiah. And it was the project of the Lord. Eunuch uh, was in the project of the Lord. He needed the experience of the revealed word. He needed the word full of the spirit. Because he knew, he knew and understood what it was the Old Testament and understand what that brings to the heart of the man, what that does to our lives. But he needed that Philippe to explain to him. The word knows the history of Jesus. The, the, the word knows the story of Jesus. But the Jesus that came, that, that was born, operate marvelous miracles and died, and, and that was it. He died. The, the word knows that, the history, but we are here to talk about that Jesus did not die, that he is still alive in eternity. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jesus, Lord, is not dead. He resurrected. He went to the right side of Jesus, our Father. And he's waiting for that day to call us for the eternity so we can be together with him. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. That's the word that we should take to those who need. Not the word of the that's written, but the living word. The, the word of love. The word of uh, one God that take care, that takes care of my life, that takes care of your life, and uh, wants to take care of our friend, our co-worker. Bless me, the name of the Lord. Please, let's sing a song.
Glória a Jesus. Aleluia. O Lord show some spiritual gift. Showed about a family that's been seeking the Lord. It's been seeking from the, seeking from the Lord the word to give to his co-worker, to his to, to his neighbor, to his family member. But the show Lord the, show, the Lord showed that the word that this family is taking it's a word and the and the and the on the letter that doesn't give any life. That's a, so he did his part. But the Lord showed tonight that this family has been speaking to the Lord that the word that that the family stake it's not it's not making any effect it's not bringing the, the necessity of that person to the house of the Lord but the Lord showed that he's going to transform your understanding like he transformed the understanding of Onuk he's going to transform your understanding so you can reach the living word the word that brings life that transmit life and when you talk about the Lord now, you're going to bring the living word full of the Holy Spirit. Bless be the name of the Lord. And every time you bring the word full of the Holy Spirit, the Bible says it's not coming back empty. But it will do everything that pleases the Lord. And what pleases the Lord, what is the salvation? Bless be the name of the Lord. It's the salvation. That's the great difference. That those, that those they study that doesn't have the meaning with the Lord for, from those who do the work of the Lord the, the Lord also show about a lady that she went through a lot of difficulties in her workplace to the, to the point that she wanted to quit her job and live a life to live a life in another place but the Lord showed that tonight, the Lord is, is giving a blessing and a refreshment to this lady. And the Lord says, and the Lord says, you will have a great experience in that place of work. Eunuk was working for a queen that was was a queen he didn't work for the king of the king the lord of lord the lord gave him a great experience a great experience of eternal life the love the lord will give you this experience at work at that place of work because you are light you are living word you are full of the Holy Spirit. It's the word of power of Jesus. You are the light and the darkness. You are the road in the desert. Because the Lord put you there, put us over there. He put us in the woods so we can be light, so we can be the salt of the earth. Bless be the name of the Lord. Amen. Please stand up. Let's have a word of glorification. Lord, we want to adore you. We want to say the Lord. Because at each moment you are taking care of us. It's an honor for us to speak about you, Lord. For all the care that you have been with us. But we praise the Lord because we don't serve a, a, we serve a, a living God for what you are in the name of Jesus, Amen please receive any altar this service this glorification to you Lord we pray in the name of Jesus, Amen please be seated 
our service is uh, ended. If you desire, if, if you wish to have a prayer, we're here. If uh, if any gift spoke to your heart, please don't leave the house without a prayer. To all the peace of Lord, Steve, peace of Lord, my friend. You're a good man. Peace of Lord to the first lady. She's a great lady too. She deserves such a good man like you, brother. She knows that. She has to thank God every day for the man she has. Right? That's what I said. Amen. <laughs>